shrimpers on strike. They had to go on strike because shrimp that used to be three, four bucks a pound to the boat. It's now 70 cents a pound due to imports and I would say price fixing because you're still paying eight dollars maybe even twenty dollars a pound for Louisiana shrimp. Sometimes even the ones you think is Louisiana shrimp are imports. We have got to change the way these, ship, these shrimp are packaged. Let you know for sure what you're eating. Not some overseas shrimp that's been eaten. Manure from chickens and pigs. You don't have a clue what you're eating in the import shrimp. You really don't have a clue. This is the safest, freshest seafood you can get. The imports is destroying all the seafood industries. Lobsters, crabs, all fish. We gotta at least know what we're buying and what we're eating. If you wanted to eat imports, that's fine. But you gotta know what you're eating. They need to do tests on these important farm-raised fish. They have toxins in them that's not healthy for us. It's not good to be eating stuff that's been in pens. Even domestic animals like cows and chickens gets diseases in them when they're penned up so horribly and that inhumane. Y'all talking about inhumane stuff? Catching and putting something in a pen to let it grow up its whole life that is inhumane to me. Catching something wild that's lived on the ocean its whole entire life. Uh, I don't even know what else to say. You know, people, it's not inhumane to be a commercial fisherman. We care more about this than any of y'all. The pollution that comes down this Mississippi River and the stuff I see on the juvenile fish growing on their scales from the pollution is so unreal. They talk about fish quotas and what's coming to the markets less than ever because there's low fish. Well, they don't take in consideration major storms through the year that makes people where they can't go out. High, high fuel prices that makes it harder to even fish because the, fuel, the fish prices are so low. Like we buy, we sell a red snapper for the public. They don't want them over four pounds because nobody can afford a 10 pound snapper because in the restaurant they're going to be 10, 11 dollars a pound. I mean, there's just no way people can afford it. Now they think there's only small snapper because we bring in four pound snapper all the time. This is crazy. They don't really know what's going on out there. These are all large double rigger boats. They're stuck at the dock because of cheap prices. They put on sometimes 10,000 gallons of fuel. You try to catch a 70 cent product on that. It's no possible way. All different size shrimp boats are affected by this.
nobody can afford to work. Fuel prices are too high, shrimp prices are too low. Another dock a few miles away from the uh, one I was at earlier. Everybody's shut down. Everybody's over here at the fish house having a meeting. You'll see how many cars are involved. People are just starting to leave. They're getting 70 cent for 1620s. Ain't no one anybody can afford to go fishing for such a low price for such big shrimp that people are paying, I don't know, ten dollars or more a pound. You'll see all these cars, shrimpers from all over the state having meetings at different places, different fish houses, different locations. A lot of people being affected by all this imports. It's got to be put on the packages so y'all know what to eat, what you're eating. If you like locally caught seafood, there's no reason you should be eating imports. I mean, a charge of cars. A lot of shrimpers. A lot of shrimpers involved trying to get together. We need to do this with all the states. With all the seafood. 